So I wanted to give you guys just a little bit of update. So uh, yesterday I posted an unboxing of these, the Google Pixel Buds, as you can see. Uh, there they are. And when you open them, they automatically pair. Uh, I also got the AirPods Pro from Apple. Uh, and I got these with my iPhone 11 so I can test these out. And then I've got these, which are the Sony WF-1000 XM3s. Okay, all right, you probably heard about these before if you're watching this. Um, but either way, uh, I also have a pair of Tick Pods, which I probably the lowest on the totem pole in terms of all these, as well as Galaxy Buds, which in previous videos I listed as about a four or a five on a scale of one to ten. Um, so just a head, I'm, I'm not doing a full review right now. I'm just doing kind of like a, a heads up or a, or a quick peek of what's coming. Uh, as you can see, uh, when I put these in my ear, these are the Galaxy Buds or the Pixel Buds. It when I put them in, twist, and they're in. Their touch controls, volume, skip. Uh, they don't feel like they're, there's like no pressure because they're vented like the AirPods Pro. I do like that. It's a little weird getting used to because most of the buds I've used in the past uh, don't have that vent. So they kind of feel like a, like a pressure, which a lot of people will disagree or a lot of people don't like. But I'm actually used to that because that's all I've had. Um, so the AirPods Pro and these Pixel Bud 2s have a vent to kind of uh, keep that pressure from building up. Um, that makes them feel very light in the ear. So I had first I didn't feel like they were always in. Uh, I use the tips that it came with. I think they're mediums. Um, they sound pretty good. I would say the sound stages, the highs are, I mean, crystal clear. I mean, they sound fantastic for the time, short time I've used them. The bass is good, not loud or deep. Uh, I'm sure I say it's not. Uh, a thudding bass, but it's good. It's decent. Um, much better than the original Pixel Buds, which <laughs> I had for a day in return. I couldn't even get in my ear. So, uh, with that being said, there they are. They click in the ear, take them out, they click in, and don't fall out. And again, they click down. Uh, with the AirPods Pro, same kind of concept, clicky, clicky case. Um, these, uh, um, okay, so let me just put them in. You put them in, and I unfortunately have, I have switched the ear tips. I have a medium, a small, um, and it takes me a good, I mean, they don't even feel like they're in right now. So uh, I, uh, I try turning them, um, and for me, that's the most uncomfortable thing about these ear, these uh, AirPod Pros is I don't like how they go in my ear. I don't feel like they fit right. But once they're in, I would say the sound stage is very similar to the Pixel Buds. Uh, bass is decent. Sound quality is fantastic with highs. Call quality is good. Pixel Buds have good call quality. These do have active noise cancellation, which the Pixel Buds do not have. Um, but I mean, they're still like that passive. Um, cancellation where it still kind of um, mums the word you know kind of quiets things down a little bit for you so like I said um, once you get them in which for me is a for these I think these I've never had this much trouble with earbuds before until I got these pros I don't think it's the curve like they kind of they kind of curve a little bit so again it could also be that the fact that these are vented they feel light so maybe they don't even though they're in my ear they don't feel like they're in my ear so that's those. Um, again, sound stage is really good. Uh, difference in price, $7,500. These are cheaper. I would say in my brief testing, I would pick these over these. Only reason why I say that is because the Pixel Buds um, are cheaper and they sound the same. Again, that's for an Android user. These are probably the best for an iOS user. Um, I also like the touch controls on these as where these have the pressure stems and I have a hard time getting my ear and pressing them anyway. So uh, again, different preferences, um, but so far I like the fit and the feel of these better than the AirPods Pro. Now, when I did a review of the uh, OnePlus Wireless Z Buds, uh, there was a um, comparison between 
the Sony's, which I have to keep looking because the, the name is outrageous, the WF-1000XM3's, which for a long time have got high praises, they're around $300, they have active noise cancellation, um, the only downside people were saying was the uh, voice quality for calls, but they've had some firmware updates and it's gotten better. So I got a killer deal on these, um, a while back they were selling them for 100 bucks, and I jumped on that. ASAP. I think they might have been refurbished or used. I don't know. They came in. Their little this case is a little scratched up now because I've been using them. But these things, I'm sorry, they are awkward in the ear. Let me tell you. They they go in quick and they look funny. But battery life has been fantastic. Um, touch controls are good. Sound quality has been okay. Um, but the sound quality and the active voice cancellation combined are out of this world. Um, they're louder than either the Pixel Buds or the uh, Galaxy uh, AirPods Pro. Louder by, by, you know, by leaps and bounds. Again, this AirPods Pro and the Sony's do have active noise cancellation, which are good. I mean, I'm okay with not having it. Probably better battery life. I haven't tested battery life on the Pixel Buds enough yet. Um, but these have no vent, so they do kind of feel like they're plugging your ear, but I think that's probably why they have a better bass response. Um, the bass is much deeper, much more thud, and the sounds, you have an EQ in the app, whereas the Pixel Buds app does not have an EQ, uh, and the AirPods Pro um, doesn't have a, an EQ, at least not that I'm aware of. If, if you guys have to put something in the comments and let me know. Um, but that's just my update for now. Uh, I'm going to go into a full detail. So on my scale of 1 to 10, I put the Sony's at a 10. I had, the I think, the Wireless Z at like a 5.5, 6, uh, just because they're not truly wireless because they have a, a neck band. Um, I had the Samsung Galaxy Buds around a 5, the Tick Pods at a 1. Um, I will probably place these in there somewhere too once I get to that point, but at this point right now, I haven't had enough tests for either one of these. I just got these a couple days ago. I just got these yesterday. Uh, just doing a quick video so you guys can see where my head's at right now and my, where my review is going to come. Reviewing headphones with a single person and a camera is very difficult because I got to show you the headphones in my ear. So uh, again, so far in my testing, the Sony's sound the best. They may not have the best features, no wireless charging, whereas these two have wireless charging. Uh, the length of the battery, the life of the batteries on these things, I don't really need wireless charging. I can plug them in. Uh, they do got, this has got the type C charger. Of course, Apple's got their lightning proprietary cable there. And then type C on the Sony's. So if you're a type C guy, either one of those will work. Uh, so, and in the, in the end, that's just a quick overview of what the three I'm testing right now to compare. Uh, I'll be back hopefully uh, soon with the review. Thank you very much. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you again.